Hey there, how are you? It's Robin John or Rosenhaus. I'm so happy to see you today. And we are going to talk about a super simple, maybe not easy, but a super simple way of getting your energy right. And this is something that everybody can do. It's not, it doesn't require any special tools. It doesn't require any special abilities. You don't have to be somebody who works with energy in order to do it. So let's get started. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Robin John Rosenhaus, and I am an energetic bushwhacker for businesses. I work with six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs to clear out the energetic, energetic chaos and bring them down the path of peaceful profits. So, the very simple, yet not always easy way of getting your energy right is to make a decision. Now, I know that sounds like, seriously, Robin, is this what you're going to talk to me about today? But you would be surprised at how many times that we believe we have made a decision to be, do, or have something, and we don't follow through. And if we don't follow through, that means we didn't make the decision. And we start second guessing. Now look, Second guessing, it's always going to happen, right? It happens even to the most confident of people. But second guessing to the point to where the doubt becomes the dominant energy. So I want to read something to you really quick from um, Napoleon Hill, uh, from his uh, Keys to Success. And this is about decision making, all right? So it's under the title, Decision-Making Capability. Successful people make decisions quickly, as soon as the facts are available, and firmly. Unsuccessful people make decisions slowly, and they change them often. Remember that 98 out of 100 people never make up their mind about their major purpose in life. They simply can't make a decision and stick to it. How can you overcome the habit of avoiding decisions? Start with the very next problem you face and make a decision. Make any decision. Any decision is better than none. If you make some mistakes at first, take courage. Your batting average will improve. Knowing what you want will help in the decision making, of course, because you can always judge whether or not it's going to contribute to your goals. So, you know, at the beginning there, he, he talks about, let me bring up that line again, where he talks about, um, okay, so unsuccessful people make decisions slowly and they change them often. So I want you to think about in, in areas of your life where you believe you made a decision and you haven't succeeded yet at reaching your goal, you just haven't achieved your goal yet, right? So what I wanna know or what I would love for you to just reflect on is how many times you've made a decision and then backpedaled on it and then changed your mind and then changed your mind again. And then, oh yeah, I made my decision. I got all my facts. And then it's like, let me just ask this one person. Let me ask that person's opinion. Let me read this book. Let me read this book. Like it gets to the point to where you just, you bounce around too much. I am all for changing your mind. Like they, there's, to me, nothing is set in stone. Nothing is set in stone. I, and everything is true until it's proven to be not true, right? And at the same time, you want to make the choice to follow through and to stick with something. 
right? So if you are running a business and you are launching a product, let's say, or a service, you come up with a strategy, you have your tactics in place, go, follow that path. Now, in business, we do need to know our numbers, right? And so you do want to reflect every so often on, okay, how is this working? How's this Facebook ad working? How's this Facebook ad working? How did this live do? Did we get any, vi um, any, any comments? Did anybody share? How many views were there, right? That gives you information for sure about what's effective and what's not effective. So you might tweak some of your processes, but the overall decision and path or road or whatever you want to say that you're, that you're traveling down to reach your goal remains the same, right? You're not con continually changing your mind about what your goal is, right? What your niche is even, like I, I know so many people and man, I was one of them and I'm still tempted every so often where they just won't stick to a niche. They want to help everybody, everybody. But I know from being on the consumer end, how often I will read um, a, a Facebook uh, promotion or a sales page that I'm not technically being spoken to, like I'm technically not their niche and it hits me, right? It's like, I need that. You gotta trust that the people reading and receiving what you are putting out in terms of marketing, that they're gonna be able to recognize themselves. So if you're marketing to doctors and it's a personal development type of thing and, and, uh, and a lawyer completely connects with it, it's worth sitting down and having a phone call with the person who's running the program to make sure that it's not specific to the medical community. It just might be who their niche is. You know, it, it, you got it. You have to be able to also trust your clients and your prospective clients. But anyway, I'm digressing. Make a decision that will help get your energy aligned because when you make the decision and you put the importance and the, and the emotional emphasis on it, your brain now knows that you've made a decision. It knows this is important. It will help, it will start looking for the resources that you need in order to achieve the goal that you decided to have, to reach. You're getting aligned. You're getting aligned. There's no confusion or a little, con only a small amount of confusion. You're getting aligned, right? Your energy is not only this field that we can't see. It's the attitude that you admit. It's the emit. It's the actions that you take. It's the beliefs that you have. It's all of it. It's everything. Your energy is all of you. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, it's all of you. You want all of that as harmonious as possible in order to achieve the goals that you desire. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. I wanted to make it quick. So if you have any questions, you know, post them below, reach out to me. And if you are ready to get your business reading, whether it's the single month or whether it's the quarterly, reach out to me and let's talk about it. Let's increase your ROI. Let's speed up your ability to make profits. Let's make your profits come faster and easier than ever before.
I'm Robin Jonna Rosenhaus. I really hope this helped you out, and I will be back here with you tomorrow. Bye.